Hey guys, Stephanie here. So in this video, we're going to be doing something fun and a little bit different than what I normally do on my show. I wanted to try to turn a happy planner notebook into an art journal. Now I did a little research and this has been done before on other people's channels some years ago. You know, it's, um, people have done it, you know, like, you know, in the past is what I'm saying. So I decided I wanted to do this cause I, I always love these beautiful happy planner covers and I have a, a number of them, but I thought, gosh, I wonder if I could turn this into a journal, right? So I have all the stuff in this. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. So I got to be happy notebook. This is the wedding one. I showed this in a haul and it's really beautiful. All right. I'm going to open that in a few minutes. I have the happy planner punch, which I also got on sale and use coupons and stuff to get this. So I'm going to use that. These are all of the one, the um, papers and the books and stuff, you know, the art um, books that we got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Remember that? So I got this tone tan one. I'm going to probably use these. I'm going to use a number of different sizes. I'm going to cut the paper down. You're also going to need a paper trimmer if you're going to do this with me. Or if you want to do this at some point, anytime. You need all this stuff and, and including a paper trimmer. Okay. And obviously, you know, your paints, your markers and any other mixed media things that you want to do. So this definitely is going to be a, probably a mixed media journal. So let's just say that. So I'm going to cut some of this stuff down. I'm going to punch this. This is obviously very small, but I'm going to have different size papers in here for us to just kind of layer our um, art projects and have different things going on. So I have this. I have the colored pencil. I have that, which is nice. So I love these two. I have my mixed media. All right. Remember this one? We got it on sale. So I'm going to use some of this. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut this down. All right. Um, I may, I might put some of this tracing uh, paper in there. I also have some of this in canvas paper that I might put in there. So I may put a couple of pieces of each in here just to have something to play on and doodle on and stamp on and, you know, do markers and things like that. So I have that. Okay. Then I have this Bristol. I'm going to cut some of this down. And then I have watercolor. And then what is this one? This is also watercolor. So I might use um, a couple of sheets of each of these. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull some papers out and then I'm gonna cut them down and then we're gonna punch them. And then we're gonna put them inside of our journal. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and start opening this. All right, so you know I always cut this open. All right, so we're just gonna cut it open. And again, I would, I would keep this part <laughs> because I can always put stickers and stuff on this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut that part like that. Cut off that excess there. Most people don't keep that, but I do. All right. So this is really, a, I'm going to keep this little piece. This is extra. Now we're just going to uh, open this up so we can see what it looks like. All right. I love it. Oh, how look at how beautiful this cover is. Wow, wow, wow. Look at how pretty that cover is. <gasps> Look at that rose gold there. That is stunning. Beautiful. Now you can do this with any happy planner. You could use any size. This is a classic size. It's like an eight by 10 size, but they have the big ones, you know, the big size in a notebook or actual planner. This is a notebook or you can use a small one, you know, a little small teeny one or whatever size you want to use. Um, I got this on clearance at Joann's and it was, by the time I got it with the, let's see, I think it was four eighty seven dollars with um, the clearance. And then I used an additional 20% off of that. So you're looking like, you know, maybe almost $3, almost $4 for this, maybe. That's a great deal to turn this beautiful thing into an art journal. Now we could always leave this as is and just have a really pretty, you know, notebook. But I have so many notebooks. I thought, well, you know, let's turn it, let's do something fun and different, okay? So we're going to take all this off and I choose you over and over. We can always keep these and we can always collage over these too. So we're going to keep the tabs. Now what I'm going to do is take this paper out. Always and forever. I love that. I'm going to keep probably keep that in there. And also you can add other tabs in this and you can make your own little uh, card stock with tabs. I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to do that after I insert all of the pages that I want. If I want... If I know what love is because of you, hmm. 
okay so we can always you know collage over this we can put stickers over this whatever we want to do but we're going to keep these little tabs and i'm keeping this paper too because i can transfer this paper into another book all right so we're going to take this paper out and um you know use it for our beautiful art journal now you can always turn these covers inside out as well just take them off you can flip them around and you have this be the cover if you don't want this so you say you decide you know i don't want this color i can have it just like this and you can like put stickers and stuff on the front of it and make it all different you know that'll be cute too it's a solid color so yeah all right so what i'm going to do is take one of these out i'm going to use this as a measuring piece for my papers so i'm going to leave this like this for just a bit i'm going to keep this i always keep my little pieces I'll cut this off <laughs> I always cut this off. Nobody else, I bet, I bet, I almost bet nobody else keeps this but me. <laughs> I'm weird like that. But I like it. I think it's cute. You can always put stickers on here or whatever. You know, use it as a bookmark or a little, uh, whatever. So that's just something extra we have. All right. So let's put this aside for now. And I'm going to use this as a guide. Now let me open my punch here. So this is what it looks like. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. So now we have our punch. So we can do three sheets. It says three sheets at a time. If you see that, it says maximum three sheets. But because some of this paper is so thick, you're probably going to have to do one sheet at a time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to off camera, I'm going to um, cut the papers down. I'm going to just talk about what I did and then we'll insert them and we'll see how they look. Okay. And I'll tell you if there's watercolor, if it's acrylic, you know, um, mixed media acrylic, whatever. I will let you know what I cut down. Okay. So let me go ahead and um, pull out my paper cutter, my paper trimmer and uh, get started. All right. All right, guys. So, so far I have the mixed media paper. I took out several sheets of the mixed media paper from here and it was perforated. So I just pulled it out and um, took off the, you know the edges here this part so I got that one I got some of the colored pencil paper which is here okay I got some of those I might get a couple more of these because this is nice paper because this would be great for colored pencils and you know anything else that you want to use I got like three sheets of it so I have some of that and then I have a couple of sheets of this uh, tone paper tone tan paper and I just took the uh, cut the edges over that off. So that's what I'm going to do with a lot of these paper uh, pads here. So I've just been pulling it out. Like this is perforated, but you could still, um, like I'll pull out one more. I'll pull out one more. And then um, what I've been doing was just taking off the sides here. Because you have to cut it down anyway. To the, I think it's 8 by 10 size of, for the planner. So you got to cut it down anyway because it's so much bigger. So you just pull it off, you know. And all the extra pieces that you have, you can save those for ephemera. For ephemera, for pockets, and for other things. You say, well, I have all this extra paper. Save it. Don't throw it away. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So this is the tone, the tone, and uh, the colored pencil paper. So I have those three so far, right? And I'm going to put some watercolor paper in here and a couple of others. And so, so far, that's what I have. I think I should put separate this just so I'll know what's in here. <laughs> So that's what I have so far, all right? And then after I sort of pull everything out of the, you know, the books here, and then I will cut it down, and then we'll just insert it, and we'll have ourselves a really cute art journal, okay? okay. So I was sitting here playing with this. Um, this is the, what is this one? This one is watercolor, right? And this one is, what size is this? I want to say it's 11 by 15 size. So with this big size, you can actually get probably two of these out of here. You know, just cut it properly. One, they might be shorter, or you can cut them down to the same size. Because, like I said, I think this is eight by ten. Let's make sure, though. Or seven by it's probably seven by ten, actually. Seven, seven by nine. Oh yeah, seven by nine. The planner's probably eight by ten. That's what I mean. So seven by nine. So you can definitely get at least two sheets out of here. So you can probably pull about. So you figure two, four six sheets if you want watercolor eight sheets do eight we do that let's just do three for now because we'll have six we can always put them in later and we will cut them down and the same for the bristol 
paper, okay? I uh, cut the bristle down. Let's see the bristle. So I can probably get two out of that, you know? Just cut it in half and maybe have two, um, two, you know, two each. We'll see. If not, I will have extras for, like I said, ephemera and pockets and tags and tucks and things like that. So we're gonna have a nice little pile of extra pages, but we're gonna keep all that. All right, so I like that. And I probably, like I said, I can get, let's see, probably two, four, six, maybe one more. I think eight is good because I do do a lot of watercoloring, you know, I love watercoloring. So we'll pull that off. All right, here's uh, our paper trimmer. So we're going to cut this down now. I also, I also pulled out some file folders. So I'm going to probably cut these down as well because they already have the little tabs on there. But these are going to be more for mixed media stuff because I generally do mixed media um you know on these file folders and I actually have some I did some jelly printing on so I may add those as well you know or you can just add them just to have some extra uh, folders in there so we have those as well so we're gonna have a nice little pile of things to add to our journal all right I love this idea all right so let me go ahead and um try to figure this out and try to cut this down all right, so let's try to measure this and uh, we will see how this will work out. All right, I'm just going to use this as a guide so I'll know where to cut, you know. Now you can always use your paper trimmer for this, but I thought, well, you know, that's okay. <laughs> I will just do this. All right, and um, I guess I will just measure this. Okay. Or you can use a, pa a piece of paper as well. So uh, I'm gonna see here, okay. So let me try to cut this. Now see, I cut this, it fits really good, but it fits towards the tab. So what I think I'm gonna do is just cut it off so it can fit the actual paper because we um, are gonna use some other stuff for the tab. So I am just going to do this. Now I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. <laughs> uh, so when you, if you decide to do this, you can do it however you like. Um, this is my first time doing this, so this is how I'm gonna do it. You know, everybody has their own way of doing things. And I'm gonna try this, see how it works. All right. All right, so let's try that. Okay. I think that should be good. I think that's good. Oh yeah, perfect, look at that. Oh yeah, perfect size, just gotta cut the bottom. All right, perfect. So we're gonna use this as our guide. See, once you cut the first piece, you can always, um, Use it as a guide to cut the rest of your pieces. Okay. And we're gonna save this little piece. We won't save that, but, cause you can make a belly band with this <laughs> or something else, right? Oh, I love, okay. And then we won't worry about the pencil because we're gonna paint over it anyway, okay? So this is perfect, perfect, perfect. This is our guide, guys. So this is what we're gonna cut our pages down for the planner, all right? So let me go ahead and finish that up and then I will show you how everything turned out, okay? So we got two pieces. This is the um, the mixed media paper, all right? All right, guys, so I added the mixed media paper and it came out great. So the great thing about this is, is that you can just pull this out and work on it and snap it back in here, okay? So the mixed media paper came out great. And then I added the folder. I just punched the folder out and it came out so good. Look at that, right? Look at how great that came out. So what we're gonna do is all of our bits that we have, let me see here. So this is um, the folder without it being punched. So I just cut it down. I wasn't able to get the, the tab on it. So I just kind of cut it down you know and then look at these 
So we have all these bits, guys. So we're gonna save these, okay? Because we can always make like a po like a pocket, you know, a belly band. We can make ephemera with these. So we have all these bits that we can jelly print. We can spray with oxides. We can watercolor. We can do so many things with these, right? All right. So now I'm gonna put in next here. So say so what I've been doing is just pulling this paper out because I'm gonna keep this this paper here. I might even add a couple, you know, in there just to write on it to just to see, you know, so this is going to be, um, I'm gonna put this, transfer this to another notebook. I really like this paper. It's very pretty. So we're going to just take this out because this is what we're going to be using it for. Okay. So take this out and keep it. Oh, let's keep our folder though. I mean, our tab here because we can always use that. Okay, so we have another tab here and we're gonna put our watercolor paper here and you can always label this as well okay so you can always label that okay all right so let's uh, I'm gonna insert the watercolor paper okay so I'm just taking this and I'm just um, you know punching it out trying to line it up properly and then there you go and I'm just going to insert it. Let's see. This is the watercolor paper, I believe. If not, it's the Bristol. One of the two. I think it's watercolor, though. And there you go. That's great. So I'm going to go ahead and punch all these out. And then we will add them to the book. Okay? To our art journal. All right? I love this process. I really do. All right, guys. So we are actually um, done. Pretty much done with our turning our happy planner into an mixed media art journal okay that's what this is and look at it this is how it looks still gorgeous it's this beautiful cover now let's go ahead over in what i did and it was pretty easy so you just i just kept the chat tabs and i just took all the paper out of course i showed you that and then i just inserted the papers i punched them out with our puncher their happy planner punch this is a classic size by the way there's a classic and then there's a grande so this is the classic size. And then I just inserted the different papers. Um, this is um, the pencil paper. I believe this is the like the Bristol paper or the uh, pencil paper. That's a pencil and I think this is Bristol. And then, you know, I put this um, tracing paper in here so we can stamp on that. It is a little gentle. You gotta be gentle with this tracing paper because it is kinda, kinda gentle. You might want to save it and put it in a folder or something, but I just put it in here for now to see how it would work. So it's a, uh, you know, it's very, very, very gentle. And then this is our mixed media paper, which I love. So, you know, if you want to work on a page, you just pull it out, work on it and then put it back. Okay. That's how that's going to work. So that's the first one. That's all mixed media paper. And then the same thing. And they'll put the folder in the back, which I love. So you can make a little pocket here and then stick your other papers in there if you want. And I just put another one of the papers back here and I put the plastic thing back here. And you can always add bookmarks to this. You can add acetate sheets to this for stickers. You can do a lot, right? A lot. I love this. Okay, you know, you can always cover this up, collage over this if you don't like that. Collage here, paint here, whatever you want to do. And I just pretty much did the same thing. This is the watercolor paper. And I just added some... Um, pencil paper and some of the tan tone tan paper and the tracing paper with the watercolor okay did that and similar similar thing here I'm gonna probably add another tab here in the back because I want some different kind of papers back here so and I like that I just I added I wanted to add different pages because you might want to work on your with your pencils one day you know you may want to work with your markers you can always add marker paper too which I have it's in a drawer I gotta find it so I might add some of that to this as well you know, you can add your marker paper, your watercolors, whatever. Um, I love that. So you can always take this out if you want to stamp on it. Take it out and collage, use it for collage. You know, and I put another folder back here, which I love these folders. I'm going to have to make a bunch of these. I love those. Oh, I love that. And then um, this is the Bristol paper. I love that. And then that's it, guys. That is our Happy Planner Art Journal. I love love it all right i love 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 how it came out it's so cute it's exactly what i wanted and it's beautiful okay so 
if you happen to be out and about and you see, you know, a happy planner, they, these some of these are clearance of Joann's for like under $5. And plus you can use a coupon. So that makes it even cheaper. They have beautiful covers, the rings. You can still, you can use them for anything if you want. Um, and I'm going to keep all these bits because I'm going to make all kinds of little stuff with them. You know, and as I go along in it, I will show you what I made. I will, you know, do project shares and things like that. So we're definitely keeping all this stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah, I love it. Love, love, love. Yay. Okay. I'm just way too excited. <laughs> and I, again, I will show you, um, you know, some project, project shares and show you, you know, when I create and, and, and everything. So I have another journal to work in and I love that I can just kind of take it wherever I want and use all of my different elements in here. And I just love it. Love it. Okay. So I thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave below and I'll answer you. Get back to you. Give this video a thumbs up, hit your notification bell. So you'll be no notified when the videos are uploaded and definitely give me a follow on my social media. I'm at Stephanie Garrett creative on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and at Stephanie Garrett designs or on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.